Hi. It's me and Dana. Dana. Episode seven. seven. So hard to believe. And you see, we've got on our sparkly shirt, so it must be party, party time. time. Yeah, right. that's right. Guess how many views we have, Missy? Take 1837 it away. Eighteen hundred and thirty-seven total views. Woo! We're not no bomb queen, queen mm -mm. but we getting there. And pretty soon, people's gonna be saying. Can I have your number? number. Yes. But so, to celebrate, we've got our party, party pop. Background. So nice. And we've also got party poppers. So, let's see if we can do these. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Hey, yours were better than mine. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Party, party, party. Okay. Wow. So, we want to give a shout out yeah. to our number one fan, Rick. He is Hi, awesome. He absolutely loves us, he says. He thinks we're great. Oh, he's so nice. I know. He's a really great guy. Okay. We're going to talk about we the word of segment. the week. It's this, the word of the week. It's new. We're going to start doing it every week. And because this we week, love the Urban Dictionary. Yeah. We get Urban Dictionary um, updates every day. And so we're going to pick our favorite one of the week. And this week's is Borgasm. Borgasm. It's when you're so bored, you're at the peak of boredom when you can't possibly be any more bored. Yeah. When you have when you have a boredom. Example. Orgasm. I'm at work. It's 12 o'clock. I'm having a orgasm, you can bet. Yeah. Because I get very sleepy at that Sitting time. Sitting at home all alone on a Friday night. I'm having a orgasm. <coughs> yeah. Orgasm. <laughs> because I get really bored. So... Anyway, that's the word of the week. So y'all try to use that this week. I'm Work sure that you in. can. Everybody needs the word of the week. Yes. It's good to be smart and expand your vocabulary. Yes. And we also want to say Dustin's here. Our our third wheel, our right hand man. <coughs> this was his idea, the yes. whole and you can check out a clip of that whole thing. It's gonna be a separate segment on Yeah, <laughs> check it out. Okay, now we're gonna talk about news, news. headlines. Oh, there's a great one this week. Yes. People. Barbara Sharp in New Mexico. She, her husband passed away. She natural bought, causes. She natural didn't causes. She didn't kill him or anything. Away. He just died. She bought a freezer, put it in her bedroom, laid him to rest, locked it, and he stayed there for ten years. Ten years. Nobody. Well, that was knew cool. He said that got big. Ten years. Ten years. Nobody knew. She left a note when she died that said. That she was sorry, but that she needed his pension. It's great because I really feel like she wins. She, she got, got it. Yay! Yeah. Hey, one more confetti for the lady yeah. in New Mexico. I mean, she got over on the system. Ten years. Because they can do nothing to her She's now. She's dead. And you know, the, but the sad thing of this whole situation is they had kids. How did they not know that, you know, they tried to, she stayed estranged from them and stuff, so they never knew. Why do I mean, we have to go to the sad thing about it? Can't we just be happy she won? Yeah. Go, lady. Go, lady, and get your pension. God. Okay, now it's time Don't for... Don't die, Blake. So I wouldn't <laughs> stick you in the freezer or anything. I wouldn't let her stick you in the freezer. <laughs> Not unless your pension check was really, really, really good. Really, really great. <laughs> then we might have to work something out. We might put you in the shed at my house. Yeah, that works. Anyway, now we're moving on to celebrity news. Do -do 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 have a weekly, this is also going to be a weekly topic. Second new segment. Rehab Gab. Rehab Gab. Rehab Gab. Rehab Gab. Because rehab is so interesting. And there's somebody going in, out every week. I mean, for the last few weeks we've talked about it, so we're just going to make it a segment. Charlie Sheen. Oh, he's my favorite. My favorite rehab person. Charlie Sheen. Had to go to the hospital. Said he had a hernia. A high hernia. A high hernia. Our friend Elaine at work has a high hernia. I wonder what yeah, they did to his. We need to find out how they fixed his. Maybe hers can be fixed like that. Mm -hmm. Interesting part about this story is, guess who called 911 for him? His ex-wife. Adrian Maloof. <laughs> From the Housewives of Beverly Hills. Just what? so happens, her friends. and her husband are very tight with Charlie Sheen. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that somewhere, that they're really good friends. Yeah, they called 911 to make sure he had called, which he had already called, but they wanted to make sure probably 
they could understand him because apparently he was very drunk. I'm not shocked that he has a high hernia. I'm more shocked that his liver hadn't fell out of his ass. I know, right? I mean, he's How been an alcoholic for 35 working? years. What do you think is going to happen? So he came out of the hospital and went into rehab. Yeah. Okay. God, I then love we got De <laughs> Then we got Demi Lovato. She's, She's graduated. She graduated rehab. She's but she wasn't in there for drinking or drugs. She was in there for emotional stuff. She's a cutter. Which I do not understand. Let me tell you something. Okay, I don't be see. don't be cutting me. I don't want to feel that pain. No. That's, I don't understand it either. They don't feel the pain either. I know it's whatever. the whole it's like it's you're, sort of like a release of pain. Yes. A no. If you cut me, Whatever, I'm going to cut you I back. Get it. <laughs> yeah. So, Demi, but, you know, she went into rehab because she's punched a backup dancer. I mean, who of us have not punched a backup dancer? She's the have singer. Have you seen the backup dancer? If you dancers? get mouthy with her, she's going to punch you. They all look like they're snowing. Go home. need to be put in their place. And if you don't want to work, dancers. go home. Go home. Next. Demi will next. punch you. Next. Speaking of next, who's next in rehab news? The Golden Voice. He mm -hmm. left. He did not graduate. He did not graduate. He He's is a, a quitter. dropout. Yep. Dropout. Beauty school dropout. He's gone to California to make his way as a children's book reader. What voice? Book? What do they even need that for? Who's he going to read? I mean, to? shouldn't children be reading their own books? Ain't that the goal? To get them to read books? <laughs> Who is he reading to? Kindergartners. He needs to do old people books that his eyes can't read his mama, and they can hear them. His mama said she wishes he'd go back. So I'm just saying, Golden Voice Man, go back. Go back to rehab and graduate. Don't let Demi Lovato show you out. Come on. We should send Demi Lovato to cut him. <gasps> she could release her pain. <laughs> All of Ted him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, next. That's it. Next. Tattoo news. Which is great, too. T-Pain has got a new tattoo, and I'm loving it. It's very strange, not for me. It's, it is a Facebook tattoo. Everybody a needs a Facebook tattoo because everybody's on Facebook. And what I like about it is you do not have to like him. You do not have to mm -hmm. like me. You don't have to. No. The button is there. You can like I it or not. I like it. And the Speaking button. of which, everybody should go to Facebook and like our new page. Missy and Dana's show on Facebook. Go and like it, please. Share it. And, and share, share it. it. Yeah, with, with your friends. Yes. Um, T Pain's name, Fahim Najam. Fahim Najam, that's his real name. He's from Tampa. Or Tallahassee. Tallahassee, Tallahassee Florida. That's my bad, T Pain. Fahim. I like T Pain better. Yeah, I do too. But that's a cool tattoo. Give Facebook props. We love Facebook. Facebook rocks. Okay, now we're going to talk about the football man. My man Ocho Cinco. Let me tell y'all, there ain't nothing better than Ocho Cinco, day and night. He is pretty great. I love his Facebook. He's funny. Statuses. He's cute. He's hot. Show the picture, Dustin. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ink, not mink. Ink, not mink. Ink, please. Move the football. He is thinking of changing his last name. I begged him on his Facebook wall not to do that. I mean, I love his name. I mean, he says he thinks he's gone as far as he can with Ocho Cinco. Plus, he's about to get married again. So, what's he going to do? Ask her to be Miss Ocho Cinco? She'd be happy to be Miss Ocho Cinco. She should be happy. She Unless is, she is fine. So she is know. a very fine woman. We got a picture of her, too, with some fierce shoes on. Mm -hmm. She's fine. So, you know. I'd be so, I'm sure she does not want to be Miss Ocho Cinco. Well, you know what? I'll tell you like this. For Chad, I'd be, I'd be Miss Cow Patty. It wouldn't make me no difference what he wanted to call me. Call me whatever you want to. It would Just be call fine. Me. Just call me. I love it. He's so funny. But he was going to change his name to Hachigo. Hachigo. That's what he said to start That's with. That's the Japanese. I think that was kind of a joke. It was. I think it's going to just go back to Johnson. Yeah, because she wants to be Miss Johnson. Okay. Tiffany, the 80s singer. I think we're alone now. It doesn't need I'm not seem to be anyone around. I'm going to let them go. I think we're she outed somebody, so we I had know, another not outage. Cool, not cool. Not Jonathan cool. Knight. New kids on the ball. But I really don't know that he is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Lance Bass come right on with it. So you would think if he was, he'd come right on with it, too. Tiffany, what she did was she came out and made a statement like, yeah, I dated the quiet one, the one that turned out to be gay. Really? We didn't bitter. get that memo. We didn't know he was gay. She might just be bitter. 
She ought to be better. I've seen her on Celebrity Fit Club. <laughs> <laughs> What's she on Celebrity Fit Club? I don't know. I don't either. I could be wrong about that, Tiffany, if I am my bad. Okay, so Disney news. They're oh, making yeah. a real-life Snow White movie. Um, and Dana's going to tell Missy me. has no idea who they're talking about is going to be Snow White. Are you ready for this? That chick from Twilight. Uh-uh. Christian. Christian Stewart. No. Yes. No, Disney. No. No, oh, no, I no. I love Twilight. She does not need to be no. Twilight. No. She has no personality. I mean, Bella. She's like a tree stump. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Who? Who is somebody that... Oh, 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 off of Charmed. Oh, oh. Listen that went with Marilyn Lana. Manson. Come on, come Rose on. Rose McGowan. Rose McGowan. There, there is you your go. Snow White. She Fine, like a good Snow White. Light skin, dark hair. Alyssa Milano would be a good goes, Twilight. Um, I mean, good Snow White Twilight. Mar uh, Marilyn Manson's other one. <gasps> the model. Vita Don. Vita, Vita, Vita Von, Von Teese. Yeah, she's very yes. light skin. But she's not really an actress. She could be Snow White. No, I would go with Girl the Charm, be. but please, I will not watch it if that Christian girl plays Snow White. That's that's just retarded. Boy, that put a whole new spin on Dopey. <laughs> Is that the truth? <laughs> I mean, I... She's insane. I don't know. Yeah, I just don't care for her. I don't like her either. Okay, our last topic of today is American Idol. This part is for Dustin. Yeah, apparently American Idol's on. Who knew? Well, I've watched some of it, but I like usually fall asleep before it's over or whatever because we have to be up before the rooster even like rubs the crust out of his <laughs> eyes. We have to be at work. Carry on. Um, Chris Medina, 26. He was engaged for six years to this woman. They were together for six years. Oh, they, they were together, together for, for six, six years. years. Then they got engaged, and then they were going to wait two years to get married. And two months before time for them to get married, she got in an accident. Bam! Just She's like that. She's in a wheelchair. He's took care of her. He stood up. He's done the right thing. Hats off to you. Your hat off to him. Yeah. Hats off to you for doing the right thing. Men and up. That's pretty cool. But this other girl, Lauren Elena, 15, from Rosville, Georgia, we liked her. We liked her. She had the little sad story going on, you know, with her cousin that had gotten sick and got cancer, you know, that inspired her to be a singer and all this. The girl can sing. A, I like her because she's from Georgia. I always root for the Georgia people if they're good. And B, the main reason that I liked her was because she got who to sing a duo with her? Steven Tyler. Yeah, she talking about my mom and dad's favorite song is one of yours. Of course he's going to say, let me hear it. And then she sings and she goes, okay, now you. He stepped right into it and sung it. She sung another line. He sung another line. I said, that is grits and gravy because she done got Steven Tyler to sing with her. If that girl would have got struck by lightning when she walked out of that building, she would have died a happy, happy girl. It don't and that would have made that story so much better in the end. But then you wouldn't even, I mean, you know. You, you wouldn't even have to go any further. You sung on TV with Steven Tyler, which is one of the sexiest Don't they get a lot of money at the end? Yeah, but I'm saying. She, yeah, you need the money. I well, I know you. she does, but wouldn't you be happy if you had just sung with Steven Tyler? I'd like to do something with Steven Tyler, but it ain't sing. She's so nasty. He's so funny. Steven <laughs> Tyler is, is hot. He's finding oh that, he's finding that rock Woo. star. Sexy tie them scars on that microphone. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. He is hot. Damn. He is hot. So, <clears throat> this weekend, me or Dana's neither one done very much of nothing. Nope. Um, we did start a Missy and Dana Show Facebook page. Just type it in and go and like it. Please. We want to tell y'all thank you so much for watching, for telling your friends to watch, for and laughing all with the us. little children at the middle school. <clears throat> yeah, hey, shout out middle school kids. We love you. And um, we just, we enjoy doing this and we really appreciate y'all watching us. And that's all we have for now. We'll see y'all next week. We'll see y'all on the flip side. Bye-bye. <laughs>